You always feel great after a dominating win, even if it is in the preseason, and I am sure the Miami Dolphins felt amazing after crushing the Atlanta Falcons in the second preseason game. I know the fans were pumped up about it, and they should be. Yes, again, it is just preseason, but Miami looked legit. Starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa was unstoppable throwing the football. Running back, Miles Gaskin, was dominant, running and catching the football, on his way to scoring two touchdowns. The defense dominated the game, and safety Eric Rowe had an incredible play on fourth down in the red area. Rowe knocked the ball away and highlighted his tight end eraser abilities. The Miami Dolphins had some players raise their stock. Miami's offensive line was a bright spot as well, and even though they still have more work to do, they looked solid. They allowed Tungavailoa to be sacked one time, but they improved in the run game and dominated Atlanta's front seven. The rosters are now down to 80 players, and the Dolphins will have some tough cuts to make on August 31st by 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Miami already placed receiver Lynn Bowden Jr. on injured reserve, so the receiver room will be interesting to follow. Regardless of how the final roster looks, a few players have raised their stock on the Dolphins. Here are the three players whose stock has gone up the most as they enter the third and final preseason game. Tua Tungavailoa. I know many fans already thought starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa's stock was high, but after his dominant performance against Atlanta, it would not be right not to have him. Tungavailoa dominated Atlanta and show me more than enough this preseason. It would be perfectly okay if Miami does not play him in the third and final preseason game. Tungavailoa has nothing more to prove, in my opinion, so Flores should be smart and shut him down until week one. I graded Tungavailoa's game in the first edition of my Tua Tungavailoa report card, and Tungavailoa earned an A-plus from me. The way he delivered the ball confidently and accurately was amazing to watch. Tungavailoa has worked hard on his craft this offseason, and Flores talked about his improvements. I think reps is a part of it, said Flores, via Miami Dolphins official transcripts. I think studying the game film is a part of it. I think practice reps is a part of that. I think Tua has put a lot of time and energy into his craft. I think that making good decisions and quick decisions is something that he's worked on and wants to do that for this team. It's good to see him go out there and do that last night. Now it's about doing that on a consistent basis. Flores is right. We need to see Tunga Vailoa do this consistently. However, if he can do this consistently, Miami may have one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL when the year is over. Sam Egavoan. If you watched Miami's second preseason game, you knew that linebacker Sam Egavoan was going to be on this list. The former undrafted free agent played in the CFL before the Dolphins signed him in 2019. He has played in all 32 games for the Dolphins the last two seasons starting seven of those games. His story is pretty remarkable, and he added a new impressive chapter to it. Egavoen had four sacks and a safety against the Falcons. He was the best defensive player on the field that night, and he was flying around the football field. Miami got creative with him, too moving him all around the defense, but Egavoen was able to make plays no matter where he lined up. After the game, Egavoen was asked when was the last time he had four sacks in a game. Egavoen responded, via Miami Dolphins official transcripts, last time I had four sacks? My dream last night. Laughter. Egavoen also talked about his journey in the NFL, via Miami Dolphins official transcripts. Just have a strong faith, said Egavoen just always believing in yourself. Even if you don't make it, at least your faith got stronger, you know, like just always believe. It's never good to doubt yourself or bet against yourself, but that's just my main thing. I just kept faith, kept hope alive, and now I'm here and still got that same mindset going through camp, going through preseason and for my career. You can tell he still has the same mindset, and his stock is currently through the roof. Liam Eichenberg if there was one player that Miami Dolphins fans needed to raise their stock, it was 2021 second-round pick, Liam Eichenberg. Miami traded up for the former Notre Dame offensive lineman, and many thought he would be the starting right tackle. However, things have not gone as planned so far, and Eichenberg had found himself battling for the left guard spot. Luckily for Dolphins fans, things have changed, and Eichenberg is now competing for the starting right tackle job. His first audition was incredible. 
Eichenberg was amazing in his pass protection, and he looked great in the run game as well. It remains to be seen if he will start over veteran offensive lineman Jesse Davis, but the Dolphins would be wise to start Eichenberg. Flores was impressed with Eichenberg's performance and said, via Miami Dolphins' official transcripts, he did some good things. There are some things he can improve on. He's moved around, he played a few positions, last night he was at tackle. I thought he did well, but there are definitely a lot of scenarios where he can get better. They are watching the film right now. I know, Lem, offensive line coach Lemuel Jean-Pierre, is making the corrections with him. He's a hard-working kid, so he'll work hard to make the corrections and hopefully get another opportunity to improve this week during practice, and we'll see what next week looks like. Those are some encouraging words for the rookie whose stock is rising.